So then you begin talking about the, the program, the, the, talking about the way the um, you open an account and all that stuff, and explain you know as much detail as you possibly can remember, and don't really harp on the most important parts. What you're trying to emphasize here at the end of the day is that the player, because we're talking to a bar owner, is that each player gets a membership card, and you want to end up with that. So basically, the way I describe it is the following: so, sir. What in order for anybody to wager on our platform, they have to become members of social gaming, and to do so, it's actually very quite simple. Very first time they go up to the kiosk, they enter in their phone number, and uh, they enter a, a, a whole series of different pieces of information, such as their email and so on and so forth. And as I explained to you earlier, the we scan a copy of their driver's license, namely to verify that they are um, uh, a, 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 of legal age to wager. And once we've done that, you can appreciate it. We've gathered a little bit of information about the client, and every single client needs to open an account. So they open up a member. They they need to buy a membership. Excuse me, they need to buy a membership. And these memberships range from ten to five hundred dollars. And in doing so, the client then is asked to take a photo, and the photo is then imprinted on a, a player's card, and the player's card is called a Fidicen or Social Gaming Player's Card. And the machine will actually print that card immediately after the account is finished opening. And you show them, and at this point you stop and you show them what a card looks like. Now, you continue by explaining now, in order for him to wager, uh, he needs to load money into the account. And, but before it goes into a wagering account, we load the money into what we call a Fedison account. And essentially, it's a closed loop gift card for this bar. And the way it works is basically once you load it up, let's, let's call it a $50 or $100 into the card, then the customer has a choice. Uh, either he can, you know, transfer 20, 30, 40, whatever number he wants into his wagering account so he can wager with on the horses or the dogs, or he can choose to come to the bar and um, uh, use that card to buy himself a beer or buy himself a round. Or in certain cases, he can actually open up a tab with you. Now remember that you know at any given time how much money is in in the client's account, <clears throat> and because you know that you can lock it down. You can basically say, "Well, I'm locking down fifty dollars or a hundred dollars, whatever the case may be." That's a really added feature. Now, um, 